The most populous city in the UAE, Dubai, is known for its ostentatious architecture, and if Moon World Resorts has its way, this new hotel is going to completely transform the city. The first of four Moon Resorts planned for construction by the Canadian business will be in Dubai. All the amenities one would anticipate from a five-star hotel will be there in the 735-foot-tall Moon replica, in addition to unique experiences designed to resemble a trip to the Moon. The $5 billion endeavor would include a lunar colony and lunar surface experience with the goal of bringing space travel to the Earth. The resort, once finished, will be able to host up to 10 million guests annually, according to the company's creators, Sandra Matthews and Michael Henderson. The lunar colony alone can accommodate 2.5 million visitors annually, and it's also planned to contain a training facility for astronauts and space agencies. Naturally, Moon is still a resort, so there will be lots for visitors to do and see. The resort will have a nightclub, a venue that can accommodate 5,000 people, an event center, a spa and wellness area, a jazz piano lounge, and a multi-level lounge designed to look like an alien spacecraft. The goal of building a sizable convention center is to draw industry exhibitors from the space and technology sectors. 144 opulent units will also be available for purchase as part of a private housing program at Moon. A lifelong Moon membership with special benefits is also included with each 2,000-square-foot property. Before we continue, if you are enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Your support helps us create more incredible and informative videos about multi-billion dollar construction projects throughout the globe. Construction of this exclusive resort is expected to take two years, even though formal plans in Dubai are still being finalized. From an architectural, engineering, and design standpoint, Moon is constructible, according to co-founder, Michael Henderson. Nowhere on Earth is there anything even somewhat comparable to the Moon. Incorporating a special hallmark activity that allows visitors to walk on the lunar surface while exploring an actual lunar colony, it will be a fully integrated, modern, and opulent destination resort, according to Henderson. A three-story steel sphere will serve as the resort's base, and an orb will be placed on top of it to create a hyper-realistic depiction of the moon. The sphere would have moon-like decorations on the outside. This would make the building the biggest sphere in the world. To power the entire resort, it would be made of steel, clad in a carbon fiber composite, and integrated with solar panels. The present high cost of space tourism prevents most tourists from participating for the time being. For instance, Virgin Galactic just started charging $450,000 for space excursions. Henderson claims that visiting Moon World Resort will be far less expensive and that registering to walk the resort's lunar surface will set you back US$500. Future-oriented initiatives like Moon World Resorts may never advance past the conceptual stage due to cost, but Henderson claims that the licensing model makes the proposal feasible. He clarifies, it's not so much seeking for capital. Finding the licensee is the objective for a licensor like us. Since these will be huge worldwide enterprises, not tiny businesses, we're not talking about, once you obtain the licensee, you'll already have the funding for the projects. Henderson thinks that each Moon World Resort will develop into a unique travel destination. He imagines visitors arriving to marvel at the structure even if they aren't staying there or using the space age amenities. He cites as examples of architecture that inspired him in this regard the Burj Khalifa in Dubai and the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. It goes without saying that consumers enjoy viewing depictions of interior activity. But I think a lot of people will be thrilled when they see the largest sphere in the world. I think it will be the mind-blowing moment, he claims. Moon World Resorts has created a stir in the past with regards to previous moon projects that never went through. The business declared its intention to bring moon to Las Vegas in 2021. Henderson revealed at the time that he and Matthews first had the idea in 2000 with the objective being to build an authentic, megascale replication of planet Earth's moon, incorporating the world's largest spherical. Building four moon resorts, one in North America, one in Europe, one in the Middle East and Northern Africa, and one in Asia, is the long-term objective. Henderson envisions licensing each moon world resort to licensees with plenty of money to splash as moon world resorts as a licensing corporation. 
Despite the fact that it doesn't seem like the Las Vegas project is progressing, we're interested to see if Moon can establish itself in Dubai. In our opinion, this sounds like it may be a huge hit, especially with how popular space travel is these days. In future videos, we intend to provide you with more details on this project as well as other upcoming mega projects in Dubai and around the world. In the meantime, feel free to share your opinions about Moon Resort in the comments below. And if you haven't already, press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. We appreciate your interest and we'll see you in the next mega build video.